Hello boys and girls. Our reading lesson for today is to read a book and then after you read it decide what parts of the story could really happen and what parts of the story really couldn't happen. The book that I'm going to read today is Diary of a Worm. This book was written by Doreen Cronin. Doreen Cronin was the author because she wrote the book and the pictures are by Harry Bliss. And Harry Bliss was the illustrator because Harry Bliss drew the pictures. <coughs> Jasper must have seen a squirrel outside because he's barking. The story, Diary of a Worm, is about this little worm here. And you see what he's writing in? That's his diary. A diary is like a book where you write down things that you don't want to forget that happened to you. Inside shows some pictures that this little worm put in his diary. He has a friend right here who's a spider and the spider wrote worm in the spider web for him. This is his report card he put in there. He's got some good grades, doesn't he? There he is on his very first day of school. And that's what worm looked like when he was a little baby. It says baby picture of me with and dad. Over here was his first tunnel that he drew, that he dug out in the dirt. And over here is his family vacation to the compost island. Compost is where people put things like rotten potatoes or peelings or things like that in a big pile. And then if you mix it in with the dirt, it makes the dirt a lot richer. And guess what? Worms love to eat things like rotting vegetables. There they are. They're all excited to be there, aren't they? So as I'm reading this story, think about how some of these things really could happen and some of these things just couldn't happen, okay? March 20th. Mom says there are three things I should always remember. The earth gives us everything we need. And there he is, and he lives right there in the middle of the United States. Number two, when we dig tunnels, we help take care of the earth. Must make tunnels, help earth breathe. So there he is. Number three, never bother daddy when he's eating the newspaper. Look at daddy, he's liking to eat that paper, isn't he? Worms evidently like to eat paper. March 29th. Today, I tried to teach Spider how to dig. So there's Spider. He's got a question mark because he really doesn't know how to do it. And then there's that little worm going down in. First of all, his legs got stuck. I think I've twisted one of my ankles. There he is right there. Then he swallowed a bunch of dirt. Ugh, look at him spitting it out. I give up, is what the worm said. Tomorrow, he's going to teach me how to walk upside down. Boy, that would be fun, to learn how to walk upside down. Do you think that worm's going to be able to walk upside down? He doesn't have any legs, does he? March 30th, worms cannot walk upside down. Look, he's starting to fall, but his spider friend sent out a spider web, just like Spider-Man, didn't he? And he caught him before he hit the ground. He looks scared, doesn't he? April 4th, fishing season started today. We all dug deeper. Do you know what that says on that bucket? Bait. Do you know what people use for bait when they go fishing? Little worms. Did you guys hear something? What do you think they heard? The shovel coming down to dig them up so they could go fishing. April 10th, it rained all night and the ground was soaked. We spent the entire day on the sidewalk. Hopscotch is a very dangerous game. Look, I know when it rains, I've seen lots of worms on the sidewalk. Have you? All that water gets in their tunnels and they can't breathe, can they? I forgot my lunch today. I got so hungry that I ate my homework, and that happened on April 15th. He forgot his lunch. Look, he's eating paper, and he's eating his homework. My teacher made me write, I will not eat my homework 
10 times. When I was finished, I ate that too. Uh-oh, he even ate that. April 20th. I snuck up on some kids in the park today. They didn't hear me coming. I wiggled right up between them and they screamed. <laughs> they are all running away. I love when they do that. May 1st. I know someone in our class has a birthday on May 1st. Do you know who it is? I do. Happy birthday on May 1st, Everett. Grandpa taught us that good manners are very important. So today I said good morning to the first aunt I saw. Good morning. Oh my goodness. There were 600 more of them in line. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How do you do? Good morning, nice to see you. Howdy, good morning. I stood there all day. He was trying to be a good friend, wasn't he? And he said good morning to every single aunt that went by. All 600. May 8th. Had the worst nightmare last night. Giant birds playing hopscotch. Mom says I have to stop eating so much garbage right before I go to bed. There he is in his little bed. May 15th. I got into a fight with Spider today. He told me you need legs to be cool. Then he ran. I couldn't keep up. Maybe he's right. May 16th. I made Spider laugh so hard he fell out of his tree. <laughs> Who needs legs? That says thud. May 28th. Last night, I went to school, to the school dance. You put your head in, you put your head out. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself about. That's all that we could do. Why couldn't they do any more? They didn't have any arms or legs, did they? So they sure couldn't do anything but just their heads. June 5th. Today, we made macaroni necklaces in art class. There they are. They're all wearing their macaroni necklaces. I brought mine home, and we ate it for dinner. You're very talented, Dad told him. June 15th. My older sister thinks she's so pretty. I told her that no matter how much time she spends looking in the mirror, her face will always look just like her rear end. That wasn't very nice, was it? There she is trying to look pretty. Spider thought that was really funny. Look at Spider. He's upside down. He's laughing so hard. Uh-oh. Mom did not. I don't think anybody's mom would like it if we told our sister that their face looked just like their rear end. Do you? We better not try that. July 4th, when I grow up, I want to be a secret service agent. Spider says I will have to be very careful because the president might step on me by mistake. It's a dangerous job, I told him, but somebody's got to do it. July 28th, three things I don't like about being a worm. I can't chew bubble gum. Number two, I can't have a dog. Can we keep him, Mom? Look at Mom, she looks scared. And all that homework. I didn't know worms had to do homework. July 29th, three good things about being a worm. Number one, I never have to go to the dentist. No cavities, no teeth either. I bet that's why he couldn't chew bubble gum because he doesn't have any teeth. Uh, number two, I never get in trouble for tracking mud through the house. They live in mud, don't they? And number three, 
I never have to take a bath. Who's my grubby little boy? Never has to take a bath. August 1st. It's not always easy being a worm. We're very small, and sometimes people forget that we're even here. But like Mom always says, the earth never forgets we're here. And here's some more things that he put in his diary. He has a picture of where a bee stung him. Boy, he has a big place, doesn't he? And isn't this leaf awesome? Is that a leaf? No, that's part of some money, isn't it? I found this really cool rock. Is that a rock? No, it's a baseball. Mom and Dad's anniversary. Look, they're kissing. And he said, gross. He must not have liked that. Then he has my own comic and my sister's slumber party. And then he's laughing. Hee hee. He must have scared them. And my favorite pile of dirt. Worms do love dirt, don't they? So let's think back about this story. What's something in the story that could really happen? Well, I think something that could really happen would be the very first part. Where mom was telling him about how important he was for the earth to dig tunnels because worms really do dig tunnels in the earth and it does help the earth breathe. It helps the ground not be so hard. And when it rains, the water goes down into those tunnels and helps the plants be able to get some more water so they can grow. Something else. Let's look at this. Do you think that a worm would really try to teach a spider how to dig. That might be something that really doesn't happen, wouldn't it? What about a spider trying to teach a worm to crawl upside down? Do you think that would happen? It would in the book, but I don't think a real spider would really try to teach a worm how to crawl upside down. Let me think if I can find something else. Oh, do you think worms have a school? Do you think that really could happen? I don't think worms really have a school either, especially not to have to do work. What about this? Do you think some people really don't like worms and they'd run away if they saw them? That could happen because I really don't like worms and I would probably run away because I do not care to, take, to touch worms at all. I know they're important, I just think they're kind of icky. Let me see, one more thing if I can find in here. Mm -hmm. Do you think that worms would play hokey pokey at a school dance? No. They probably don't even know the hokey pokey, do they? And I'm going to find one more thing that would happen. Let me see. One more thing that might happen. I think this last page is something that could really happen because worms really are small. And really, sometimes do people do forget about worms, but like mom said, the earth will never forget we're here. So the worms always help the earth by making the tunnels so the water can go in and make the ground get softer and not be so hard. So while you read a story today, be thinking about some things in the story that really could happen and some things in the story that really couldn't happen. Have fun reading your books. Bye.